In this video, we'll be trying to solve a question on the percentage composition of elements in compounds. Okay, now the question here says the empirical formula of garnet, a gemstone, is Fe3Al2Si3O12. Right, so it means three atoms of iron, two atoms of aluminium, three atoms of silicon, and 12 atoms of oxygen. Now, continue, it says. Analysis of a sample of garnet gave a value for 13.8% for the percentage by mass of silicon. Show by calculation whether this is consistent with the formula or not. Okay. Now here you're giving the atomic mass of iron as 55.85, for aluminium 26.98, for silicon 28.09, and for oxygen as 16. Now, how do we solve this question? Now, let me give you an idea of how this is done before we start, okay? Now, for this question here, they give you garnet, a gemstone, as being this one here, all right? So, here is like the formula for garnet. Now, they said from their own analysis that silicon occupies 13.8% of garnet. Now, they are asked you to show by calculation whether it is true or not. Now, that true is what they call consistent. So when they, say, when they say show if it is consistent or not, they mean show if it is true or not. So how do we find that? Very simple. We'd have to calculate the percentage composition of silicon in this compound and then see if it gives us 13.8%. So how do we start? Solution, first things first, let's take down the solution there. So solution, um, solution for this question. What we're given here is Fe3. That's three atoms of iron, Al2, that's this, silicon having three atoms, oxygen having 12 atoms. So we have this. Now, note that in, in um, some questions, they might not give you the atoms of each of the elements. In some questions, you may not be given, all right? Especially for elements that are very popular. Example, for carbon. All right, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16, um, calcium is 40, and etc. But for things like iron and silicon that are not so popular, you will most likely be given the atomic mass as you can see here, right here. They give you here. So you, you most likely be given. But whichever we let's proceed to solve this. Now, in solving this, your first task is to find the molar mass of the compound. So let's get molar mass, molar mass of the compound. Now, molar mass of the compound is equal to. For us to get the molar mass of the compound, we multiply the atomic mass of each of the elements by the number of atoms that they contain in the compound. For iron, we have iron as 55.85. So this multiplied by, so it becomes 55, 55.85 times the number of atoms iron contains from here is 3. So times 3, that's for iron, plus Next up, the next element we have there is aluminium. For aluminium, you can see that the atomic mass is 26.98. Um, that 26.98. 26.98 times number of atoms aluminium contain. That's 2. So it becomes 2. Plus, the next thing we take there is for silicon, which is this one here. So let's go get the mass of silicon. For silicon, your atomic mass there is 28.09. So it becomes 28.09. 28.09 silicon times the number of atoms. As you can see, silicon has three atoms here. So it becomes three atoms of silicon. Plus, for the last element there, oxygen. For oxygen, as you can see, it's 16. So we have 16. That's the atomic mass. So 16 times, so it becomes 16 times the number of atoms that oxygen contains, which is 12, according to the question. So this times 12, 16 times 12. So we have this. All right, so having this now, what's our next tax? Our next tax here will be equal to, let's, let me punch each of this and see what I have. First thing I have that is 55.85 times 3, and that's 167. 0.55. So here's the first task. Plus, next up I have 26.98 times 2. 
and that's 53 so 53 point nine six plus my next tax there is 28.09 times 3 um, times 3 and that's about 84.84.27 then finally I have plus my last tax there becomes 16 times 12 if I point 16 times 12 I have 192 all right so with this I'll just sum up these numbers that's equal to my first number is this 167.55 plus 53.96 plus 84.27 plus um, finally I have 192 so if I sum this up the molecular mass of the compound that's the molar mass of the compound is 497.78 now note that molecular mass or molar mass is measured in gram per mole all right so i have this as the molar mass of the compound uh, the compound they said it was garnets so i'll just call this uh garnets okay that's it uh, just to confirm this garnet yeah so I've, I've gotten this the next thing for us to notice the um mass of the comp mass of the elements so the mass of the elements in the question, what element was mentioned in this question? If you look at the question again, that they said mass of silicon, they mentioned silicon. That was the element that was mentioned. So what do we do here? Mass of the element, uh, the element here is silicon. So I'll just say mass of element in bracket silicon. And for us to get the mass of silicon in this compound is simply equal to, I'll just do this below, simply equal to, for silicon, we can simply come to this silicon is 28 that's this one here 28.09 so it becomes 28.09 28.09 silicon times the number of atoms for silicon which is three as you can see in the question here three so this times three this times three um, let's punch this that becomes 28.09 times three and that's about 84 point two seven so you have this now by the way if you look at this this is the same value as what you have here all right so sometimes you can just come here and pick up the value but i just i was just trying to show you a step-by-step -step process to it okay all right so if you get this now what's the next thing there we recall that in our previous video we said that percentage composition percentage composition of elements the element in question is silicon so of silicon your formula is equal to mass of the element which is the mass of silicon all over to so this all over molar mass of compound which is the molar mass of the compound here is garnet so garnet times 100 percent okay we discussed this this concept in our previous class if you missed our previous class where i treated or i discussed the percentage composition of elements in compound i'll leave a link to that class in the video description okay so you can check the video description you see um, a link to our first class on the percentage composition of elements in compounds and you can learn that in full details okay all right let's proceed with this so what's the next thing here from our solving what's the mass of silicon from what we have here the mass of silicon is 84.2 that's 84 84.27 i think the seven there okay all over the molar mass of the compound what's the molar mass of the compound we got the value as 497.78 that's um 497 point seven eight times one hundred percent and this is equal to let's punch this, this is equal to um eight four point two seven divided by four nine seven point nine eight that's about zero point one six nine three approximately zero point one six nine three this 
times 100 percent so let's multiply this by 100 and that's equal to this i'll just multiply this by 100 and i have 16 this is 16 point nine three percent approximately so it means that the percentage composition of silicon in this compound is 16.93 percent but from their analysis here from the question here they give us 13.8 percent and you are asked to show by calculation whether it is consistent with the formula or not so since the values are not the same all right i have 16.93 against their 13.8 you can see that the values are not the same so hence the values are not con it's not consistent okay you can see uh, let me use the language there show by calculation if what let me use the language there okay so i would say the mass of silicon the mass or the percentage the percentage by mass composition composition is not consistent all right it's not consistent since the value by the value by calculation is 16 16.9393% which is greater which is greater than the 13 points what let's see this again which is greater than the 13 point um let's see 13.8 percent and the 13.8 percent all right so that's your answer basically so you might want to ask why is that the the answer from their own experiment or analysis was wrong well, it could be due to error from their experiment. And that's why you have to be very, very careful when you're carrying out analysis in the chemistry lab, okay? All right, guys. So basically, this is how you answer this question, okay? I want to leave you with a task. Your task is this. Using the same co um, compound here, which is garnet, I want you to calculate the percentage by mass composition of aluminum, all right? So use aluminum now. So your task is to calculate the percentage by mass of aluminum in this compound. Leave your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you if you're correct. Okay. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video as usual, don't forget to hit the like button. Okay. So like this video, leave a comment. For your comment, I have said, I've given you a task and the task is simple. Calculate the percentage by mass composition of aluminum in this compound and leave your answer in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're yet to subscribe. Do well to hit the bell icon and then select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Don't forget that you can also get my courses and my books from my website. Simply visit www.jonahimanu.com forward slash courses or you can check, check out my books on my website www.jonahimani.com forward slash books register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books or you can join my channel membership all right so you can join my channel membership and you get access to exclusive content all right i'll leave a link to my website as well as my channel membership in the video description all right thank you and see you in our next class